Hello, today I'm going to do a video about the wing tips that I have from Carmina. Something that is probably not going to come through in this video is the way that these shoes are, it has a shading to them. It has like a light and a darkness and it's very interesting and I really enjoy that about these shoes. I really like the medallion that they used here. This medallion is really cool and I really like the wing tip as well. If you don't like wing tips, to my knowledge they have Kind of a cap toe here with broguing as well i don't remember the model name on the top of my head but that's just something to keep in mind okay in the back here this heel is very strong i love this about this shoe and other carmina shoes and it feels really good when you're walking it doesn't flex it doesn't move it keeps your foot locked in something else about these shoes is they do fit kind of on the tighter side okay it's my personal opinion I mentioned this in the previous couple videos, I were genuinely wear a triple E in a dress shoe, okay? So with these shoes, I got it in a double E and I got it stretched at a cobbler. And I can say that this shoe took better to stretching as far as here, the width, than the brown shoe did, the tassel loafer that I, that I did a review on in earlier videos, okay? Now, I've worn these shoes about a year. I can definitely say, if you're one to wear thin dress socks, maybe even normal dress socks, it's perfectly fine if you're worried about width. But if you're in the colder months and you want to wear wool socks and you're worried about the width, I would say go to the triple E. Do not stay at a double E. I've tried to wear thicker socks in the winter here in Texas. And of course, y'all are going to laugh because I really, really don't have a winter here in Texas as far as being cold. But it's really hard to get a wool sock into this shoe because my foot is so wide. So if you're if that's a concern for you, then I would strongly suggest moving up, okay? But me, I prefer thin dress socks anyway. That's just me. And that's something to keep in mind. Okay, the downsides to this shoe. Number one, really the only complaint that I have is the shoestrings. Okay, on both of these shoestrings here, you can see right here, it's broken. It's starting to come undone here on the other one as well. When I tie my shoes, I don't go really fast. I don't tug on it very, very hard. That's what she said. You know, as far as making it taut, I just, it's very normal and I let it go till it gives resistance and that's it. Okay. So I'm not very aggressive with these. And what's interesting about this is, and maybe I don't know if this is a reason why it could be, this is my guess. It's a hypothesis is with, the Capto Black Oxfords that I have, I do not have the problem here with the shoestrings, okay? I don't know if they're made of a different material. I don't know because there may be a form, more formal shoe. I honestly have no idea. But what I do know is that I wear these a lot more, so that may have something to do with this. That's my hypothesis. Okay. The next thing that I don't like about these shoes is this here. There is a not finished right here as you can see all of these are taken out but this one was left behind from the manufacturer I got the shoe like this okay I mean come on guys I'm nitpicking at that point but I don't know about you guys but if you've ever seen a movie and you watch it again and you're like watching for that thing and like once you see it you can't unsee it again this is what I'm looking at right here I see it in my eyes it's just like automatically drawn to it and it bothers me like I don't know how else to explain it but that's just how it is to me you guys may not have that problem, but I do. As far as, once I see it, I can't unsee it, it's in my head, okay? Another thing, this wing tip here does not lay flat, okay? It's lifted just a little bit here. You can see it right here. If you want it to lay flat, I would strongly suggest getting the cap toe that goes like this, and it has, I think it has the same medallion or maybe a different one. But this medallion is really beautiful, but if you don't like it coming up just like a little bit, just as you can maybe see here, it just comes up just a little bit. If that bothers you, and that's something you want to reconsider. Now, this shoe is great for a casual. It's great with dark jeans. You can wear it basically everything. Let's say with the exception of maybe a business suit. If you want to try to get away with it, you can. I would even reckon to say you could wear this with a seersucker suit or even a linen suit because of the way that it is here. But if a formal business suit, I would shy away from these. But besides that, so just as I mentioned in the previous video, I would strongly suggest if you're not used to wearing a Goodyear welted shoe, then what you need to do is when you first buy these shoes, number one, you need a, a shoe horn. So you put it in the back here, 
get your shoe in, wear it around the house. I would say for like two weeks to four weeks. That's what I would say. Wear it around the house till they start to feel uncomfortable and take them off. Okay, these were so tight on my feet that I could even take the laces out of here and I could walk around and they would stay on my foot. That's how tight these were when I first got them. Okay, so I tried to do, which is take them, walk around and everything at work and oh, they bruised my feet. These and the brown ones. I was not familiar with Goodyear welting, but I got familiar with it very quick after that happened. And so, like I mentioned before, two to four weeks, okay? After that, I would say, ready in the morning, put them on, go to work, take extra pair of shoes with you that you're comfortable with you, wear them half a day till about your lunch period, take these shoes off, put the shoe trees in them, put the other shoes that are comfortable on, and then go with that. Until these stop hurting your feet, as far as they're fine, they're, they're starting to mold, they're getting really good, then, then you don't have to bring the other shoes, okay? But then you can start wearing them as far as longer, but you still have that extra pair of shoes that they're on if they start to cause any issues. The last part is, and I've after mentioned this before, is these take a stretch very well. So if you're looking to stretch these, perfect, okay? But this is my review of the wing tips from Carmina. And if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. And y'all have a nice day.